So we are going to do the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 plus x to the 2013 over 2 plus x to the 2015. Now the first thing that we notice with this integral is that there's 1 plus x and 2 plus x on the inside. It's usually easier, especially when we're looking at giant powers like 2015, if we just have one variable on the inside, like u to the 2015. So let's start out by substituting u equals 2 plus x. In that case, we'll have du equals dx, and then we can rewrite this as the integral from 2 plus 0 is 2, 2 plus infinity is infinity. 1 plus x is going to be u minus 1. And you can see that if you subtract 1 from both sides of this equation, u minus 1 equals 1 plus x, just like that. From there, we can divide by 2 plus x is u. So we have u to the 2015 times du. So where can we go from here? Well, one of the most powerful integration techniques that we have is u substitution. And u substitution is especially useful when we're looking at situations where we have things like really gigantic powers. Because no matter what's inside of that gigantic power, if we can substitute it, then it just becomes a power rule situation. And it doesn't matter how big these numbers are. So we might want to start looking for a situation where we can do a u substitution. But in order to do that, like I said before, we have to have everything inside of the same power. So we have a 2013 power on the top, and this 2015 on the bottom is bigger. So what we can do is write u to the 2015 as u to the 2013 times u squared. So when we multiply them, we'll get the same result. But now we can rewrite this as the integral from 2 to infinity of u minus 1 over u to the 2013 power. And then we can take this u squared and bring it out to the front. When we look at the inside of this power here, we can rewrite this because this u is on the bottom as 1 minus 1 over u. So if this is our inside expression inside of that gigantic power, we might want to try substituting that. We could let, for example, w equal 1 minus 1 over u. And from there, what is dw? Well, the derivative of 1 is 0, and the derivative of minus 1 over u, that's going to be 1 over u squared. So this 1 over u squared du, we already have on the outside, thanks to that difference in powers. So if we plug this all in, we're going to get the integral from 1 minus a half gives us a half. 1 minus 1 over infinity. 1 over infinity is 0, so we just have a 1 on top. Then we're going to get 1 over u squared du is our dw. And then this inside is w to the 2013 power. From here, we get w to the 2014 over 2014, evaluated at 1 and a half. 1 to the 2014th power is just 1, so we have 1 over 2014 minus 1 over 2014 times 1 half to the power of 2014. And that's our final answer. So the way that we got here was starting with our integral doing a little substitution just to make these insides a little bit nicer, and then realizing if we're looking at very complicated functions, things like powers that are really, really big and almost impossible to deal with, that's one of the situations where u substitution starts to look very helpful. And in that case, we want to bring everything under the same power. So we brought the u squared out of the denominator so that everything could be raised to the power of 2013. And we were lucky enough that that 1 over u squared became our dw that we could use in our substitution. And just a few more steps got us to our final answer.